Chapter 2 Then Solomon determined to build a temple for the name of the Lord and a royal house for himself. Solomon selected seventy thousand men to bear burdens, eighty thousand to quarry stone in the mountains, and three thousand six hundred to oversee them. Then Solomon sent to Hiram king of Tyre, saying, As you have dealt with David my father, and sent him cedars to build himself a house to dwell in, so deal with me. Behold, I am building a temple for the name of the Lord my God, to dedicate it to him to burn before him sweet incense for the continual showbread, for the burnt offerings morning and evening on the Sabbaths, on the new moons, and on the set feasts of the Lord our God. This is an ordinance forever to Israel. And the temple which I build will be great, for our God is greater than all gods. But who is able to build him a temple, since heaven and the heaven of heavens cannot contain him? Who am I, then, that I should build him a temple, except to burn sacrifice before him? Therefore send me at once a man skillful to work in gold and silver, in bronze and iron, in purple and crimson and blue, who has skill to engrave with the skillful men who are with me in Judah and Jerusalem, whom David my father provided. Also send me cedar and cypress and algam logs from Lebanon, for I know that your servants have skill to cut timber in Lebanon, and indeed my servants will be with your servants to prepare timber for me in abundance. For the temple which I am about to build shall be great and wonderful. And indeed I will give to your servants, the woodsmen who cut timber, twenty thousand cores of ground wheat, twenty thousand cores of barley, twenty thousand baths of wine, and twenty thousand baths of oil. Then Hiram king of Tyre answered in writing, which he sent to Solomon, Because the Lord loves his people, he has made you king over them. Hiram also said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who made heaven and earth, for he has given King David a wise son, endowed with prudence and understanding, who will build a temple for the Lord and a royal house for himself. And now I have sent a skillful man endowed with understanding, Huram, my master craftsman, the son of a woman of the daughters of Dan, and his father was a man of Tyre, skilled to work in gold and silver, bronze and iron, stone and wood, purple and blue, fine linen and crimson, and to make any engraving and to accomplish any plan which may be given to him, with your skilful men and with the skilful men of my lord David your father. Now, therefore, the wheat, the barley, the oil, and the wine which my Lord has spoken of, let him send to his servants, and we will cut wood from Lebanon as much as you need. We will bring it to you in rafts by sea to Joppa, and you will carry it up to Jerusalem. Then Solomon numbered all the aliens who were in the land of Israel, after the census in which David his father had numbered them, and there were found to be one hundred and fifty-three thousand six hundred. And he made seventy thousand of them bearers of burdens, eighty thousand stone-cutters in the mountains, and three thousand six hundred overseers to make the people work.